Hi there, this is for Gemini rising signs. And if you're listening to this and you're a Gemini sun or moon, that's fine too. I will also recommend that you check out the Cancer horoscope if you are a Gemini rising, because it depends on the degree of your Gemini rising where some of these planets fall. If you're listening to any astrologer, always check your rising sign first on these general horoscopes. We are basing it on a whole sign uh, house system. Also check the sign after yours to see some of these planetary influences will affect you. Um, if you're also a Gemini sun or moon, there will be some of these things that fit for you as well. So let's get to it. Um, this entire month is not really financial. It's not really work related type of month of February for you. Gemini, it's really sort of existentialism. There's sort of this uh, spiritual type of vibe, this expanding of the mind, collective unconsciousness, and even shadow self stuff going on here for you. So this is very right-brained stuff. So if you're one of these Gemini rising signs that are very logical, these topics may be something that is not in your wheelhouse but if you are a Gemini rising and you are right-brained and you love philosophy, you love expanding your mind and going deeper, understanding spirit, trying to help and change the world from their mental health issues, then this is the right month for you. Uh, there's even some, because of the ninth house is being activated for you this entire month, if you are going through any court issues, any legal matters that involves you and a judge, there can be some favorable moments here for that. I really tend not to get into legal stuff on my general horoscopes, but uh, I can say that uh, it, it could go very favorable for you. It depends on what's going on. If something isn't in your highest good legally, like if you did something that isn't in your highest good, then you're probably going to see some challenges there. But if you were wronged, then this is a very favorable month, especially if there's a judge involved. So that's what I'll say about that. But okay, just at any moment in this month, probably won't repeat that because I want to get to the other stuff. The first week of February 4th, you got Mercury moving into Aquarius. The sun is squaring Uranus on February 8th. Then you got a new moon in Aquarius. Then Mercury is squaring Jupiter. So what we're seeing here, especially with that new moon, Remember, new moons are 36 hours before and after, but this is really activating this concept of you and your faith all month. So let's go back in time to June, or sorry, January 20th. Did you have a crisis of faith around January 20th? And heck, let's even go further with that. Uh, January 16th, 17th, 18th, and 19th might have been pretty stressful for you and then really stressful once you get to January 20th, 21, and the 22nd of January. What was the universe trying to get you to see is a different way. So whatever your philosophy is, whatever your connection to the great spirit, to God, to the divine, to the great computer in the sky... This is a month where the universe says, how about expanding that? That's why there's problems here, you know, that, you know, some of you have experienced a major letdown with someone you looked up to as a great teacher or as a guru or someone you respected. But that's because you were supposed to find the guru in yourself. And that's what this new moon is about. Is there a way for you to can expand your connection with your own wisdom for some of you, this first week will offer for you a big vacation. Some of you will do long distance travel. If you don't do it physically week one, February 4th through the 10th, you'll plan for it. And if you if you are planning a vacation, a long distance trip, we're talking more than hundreds of miles, if not thousands of miles, then week one, February 4th through 10th, Primarily around the new moon, February 7th through the 11th, bleeding into the second week of February, 
This is where you really need to do some real deep meditations to connect to somebody, something, or a part of you that you have not before. So I advise you, if you're going to do the meditation route, you got all of this 12th house activity being triggered with Jupiter and Taurus, Uranus and Taurus, and then the planets in Aquarius, week one, week two, and a little bit of week three, that you can go deeper. You can go into a trance state. But I wouldn't do the same old, same old. You're going to have to come up with a completely different way. Uranus has been in the sign of Taurus activating that with you. It's saying you need a different way to connect, to understand society's ugliness, their, their inappropriate behaviors. We need a different way here. And there is one. So look back to August the 28th, that last week of August, around the 28th, all the way through to January 27th. That was a review time for you to understand the collective shadow, to understand people doing vices and addictions to their self-harm. It was for you to review, not to take action. It was for you to review people that hurt themselves, people that hurt others in a really bad way. And for a lot of this, for you, Gemini Rising, it's been a spiritual pain ever since the last week of August. But then you get to January 27th and the universe says, okay, time is up. You have been reviewing what hell looks like on earth, basically. That the matrix is broken. And now I say all planets are direct, Uranus is saying on January the 27th, okay, I am giving you a different way to problem solve, to not only navigate this matrix, navigate this world, but a solution to everyone else's problems. You can't, it's not your job to change them, but you can offer advice and you, you got to remember not to get too attached to people who have chosen to be harmful of themselves and other people. But you definitely don't have to change the entire world all at one shot. You can change the any people who are willing to listen to you, but it has to be a totally different way than you were used to prior to August. Whatever your approach was, you have something new that is being added to your repertoire to help people who are in pain. What is this new invention that Uranus is blessing you with? It will be activated on February 8th with the sun squaring Uranus. Mark your calendars for just do the whole month of February, for God's sakes. Because that is the lessons here. It's action time with this new invention to help people. And it's a month where the universe is asking you to... Do some sort of guided meditation. Do some sort of ritual where your mind can connect to something that is invisible, that is divine. If you have to take a long distance travel, well then week one is the time to plan it or to do it. Week two, uh, Mars is coming in, coming in hot on February 12th. Then you got Mars with Pluto there February 13th in an exact exact conjunction where you could see some stress a rebirth maybe it's external maybe you'll um, see people around you not doing so well but major changes with your connection to this thing major changes for some of you with your religion or your uh, philosophy your existential your spiritual truths right here second week then everything changes February 16th for all of us. There's a moment where Venus starts to move into Aquarius. This means that now we have all planets in a stellium of Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus. That's all, all together there. I am including the North Node and Chiron and Aries, if you're wondering what I'm talking about. There's a few asteroids in different other constellations or zodiacs, but the weight of the entire universe in terms of astrology, is in Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, and Taurus on February 16th. So 
All planets are direct. There's no retrogrades. This means that the world will definitely see some action and changes, and it's go time. It's no, no contemplation. But in your personal life, you'll start to see things really heat up. This is an action-oriented time. And again, if this is another moment where the universe is asking you to consider a totally different perspective in the way you navigate life. Some of you that you'll consider this concept of ancestors, angels, or spirit guides, or holy people to help you in your life. Or some of you will consider even spirit animals. Some of you will consider getting a mentor. Some of you will understand that you're the mentor, that you're the guru, and that you're the teacher, but just in a very different way. And some of you will plan a vacation or go on a trip to a place that you haven't been to before to understand what they're talking about over there. Some of you that will be internally through a meditation or through whatever, a horoscope. There can be some delays in travel on the 16th, that second week of February. So look out around the 16th. I would say the entire second week of February, even though you're planning your long distance travel, there definitely can be some misunderstandings, miscommunication, and delays in travel because Mercury squaring Uranus. So you just got to be patient with these little annoying things. Sometimes we got delays in travel, and sometimes we get a delay in mis- or, or just a miscommunication in general to help us avoid a bigger problem down the road. Venus is in Aquarius conjunct Pluto on f- February 9th, uh, 17th. Just be careful not to be in any toxic relationships because the universe will really be circling that. If you have clients that uh, need help in a therapeutic sense, they might be going through some toxic connections that you'll have to navigate them through. But be mindful of your own toxic connections or your ability to be toxic to other people. But some beautiful artwork can be here on this second week around February 17th, in my opinion, in a very different way, a little bit on the emo side. We get to the third week. This is where the energy starts to leave your your spiritual side. Because the first two weeks of February, it's very spiritual. It's very shadow self. It's finding a new um, tool to help people through their own shadow self, through their own harmful actions, and through yourself. You ha- If you have any sort of pain that you have not resolved, The universe gave you a new tool to resolve that. It's a new alternative. What is it? What's the new alternative tool that you have in your toolbox to help you and the people that in your life overcome their hurting themselves and hurting other people? And you have to be honest with yourself. You didn't mistakenly hurt other people. There's a reason for that. It was, maybe it was unconscious, but there's a reason for that unconscious behavior that you did. Okay? The idea is not to be perfect in life. The idea is to be whole. The, second, the third week of February, we start to see your career house being activated. The sun moves into Pisces. Then you have Mercury in Pisces, February 22nd. Uh, you even see at the end of the month, Mercury, uh, the sun and Mercury are together with Saturn in this nice stellium. So that's when we get to week three, week four, the last two weeks of February, it is a little bit more career. And uh, so I, I'd say your career stuff will be more March than it is here. But if you start to see some changes and a little bit lo- like business oriented, career oriented, uh, you can be lazy the first two weeks, but the last two weeks, week three, February 18th, all the way through February 29th, that's a Thursday, that's where you really got to put your energy through career. It will start to activate. Venus is conjunct Mars there on February 21st, so I think globally you'll see relationships thrive in community on a, like a social, political level, but in your personal life, This is another opportunity for you to connect to um, your own spirit through a meditation or something like that. Mercury moving into Pisces February 22nd. This is all career stuff. The full moon here 
On February 24th is the same day that Venus is an exact square with Jupiter. This activates your fourth house, that full moon. So I don't think you'll feel the Venus and Jupiter transit uh, square as much as the full moon. But these are all really good energies. And so if you've been considering changing your home life in any way, shape, or form, whether that's a moving or remodeling, you'll start to see some really positive news or a finality to a, a completion of that around February 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th. And that's kind of it. I mean, I kind of already mentioned the last week four already with Mars squaring Jupiter and the Sun conjunct Mercury and Saturn and a stellium to end the month. That is a little bit more uh, career-oriented, but make sure you're okay with the change to your philosophy, to your connection to spirit, to your spirituality or your religious ideologies just a little bit, even with February 27th at the end of the month. I would highly recommend going to, if you've ever been considering going to some sort of different temple or different sanctuary, different nature spot, a uh, long distance faraway place, a resort, a wellness center, or a new type of meditation, or a new concept of connecting to ancestors or spirit animals, spirit guides, angels, spirit friends, whatever the heck you call them, I would definitely tap into that, do some sort of, even pay people, you can pay people to do some sort of, um, meditation if you if you want that as well um if you do that you'll really start to open up the rest of your chart your health improves your friendships improve your work life improves when you really can uh follow along with the harmony of the plants and what they're recommending for you so anyways happy february 2024 to you gemini rising